Ha ha. Again? Ha ha. Again. But, you know, I really don't see that. For science! But. Again! <sighs> the Numa Numa Dance is a video created by Gary Brilsma and submitted to the site Newgrounds.com on December 6, 2004. The video features Gary sitting at his computer, lip-syncing to the song Dragoste Dinta by the Moldovan pop group Ozem. Dragoste Dinta had been released in late 2003, quickly becoming a pop hit across Europe and Asia, but it wasn't known to American audiences until the release of Gary's clip. As he describes it in his 2006 interview with the show Rocket Boom, Gary never intended for this video to be a hit. What was the intention behind it? Just to send it out to a few friends? Yeah, just for friends, yeah. <laughs> Make a few of them laugh. <laughs> just after a few weeks, it exploded. In no time at all, the Numa Numa video went from hundreds of views to thousands to well over a million. Versions of the video could be seen on sites like Abino Black Sheep, Ebombs World, and YouTube. Thousands of imitations appeared online, and within weeks, the clip was seen on CNN and VH1. Burlsma himself appeared on Good Morning America. Gary had become one of the web's first breakout video stars. Gary's success would lead to other mainstream media appearances on such reputable outlets as The New York Times, The Washington Post, and South Park. Meanwhile, the original Ozone hit, Dragoste Dinta, would take on a viral life of its own. Even before Gary's video, Dragoste Dinta spawned a number of covers, appearing in 2004 in Hebrew and Romanian. But following the success of Numa Numa, Interest in the song would peak whenever interest in the video picked up. This of course meant more cover versions. The song popped up again and again in other languages like Japanese, Spanish, Vietnamese, and English. There would even be an opera version. The world had demanded more, and not wanting to disappoint his fans, Gary went to work on a new video. For his follow-up, Gary would recruit Dan Ballin, founding member of Ozone, to write the music for his comeback video, New Numa, The Return of Gary Brolsma. Thanks to heavy anticipation and YouTube promotion, the video would be seen over 12 million times, but it was soon apparent that this new, heavily produced New Numa video wouldn't have the same cultural impact as the original. Gary would return to the original Guy in His Room formula that made him famous with his next videos, Numa 3 and the corporate sponsor Numa 4. Numa 4, however, would turn out to be an extended Geico commercial. Still, the cultural impact of both the song and the video remain huge. There are over 6,000 different versions of people doing their own Numa Numa dance on YouTube alone. Pop star Rihanna used the Ozone melody in her own hit single. And the thread between Gary Brolsma's original video and the lip dub is quite obvious. No matter what else he does, Gary Brolsma's Numa Numa dance will be a classic in internet meme history.